Yo, what's up? My name is Petrowski. Welcome to my secret base guide within Pokey MMO. Now, obviously, as you can see on screen, my secret base isn't anything to write home about. But today, we will change that. We'll go through everything you can buy and deck it out with together. As well as going through all of the basics, the types of things you can get, who can access your secret base, how to create a secret base, etc, etc. It's a shockingly deep mechanic and a really fun one to explore if you're bored within Pokey MMO. Or just enjoy customization and home building in general. Now keep in mind, a lot of the information we are covering today is coming from Best Friends Secret Base Guide from the forums. It will be linked first thing in the description. It is a wildly important and useful tool. Huge shout out to him for compiling all this information. Now this video will have some things not mentioned in that guide or that things that may have changed over time. First things first is going to be how to actually create a base and where to get secret power. Now, secret bases only exist within the Hoenn region. That's really important. So if you don't have Hoenn, you can't actually engage in this mechanic. There will be a super long list uh, in the forum post that shows all of the locations. There's like something like 75 or something locations on where you can actually have a different base. And we'll go through the different types of secret bases in a sec. But we're going to be creating a new one today. And I'm going to pick my perfect location. So, but I'm going to show you. If you click on a little doorway area like this, you can use the move secret power. If you have it on a Pokemon, it'll go ahead and create a little secret base. And now these will actually all be different. So let's talk about that really quick. There's actually quite a few different styles of secret bases. Here you can say, see the tree layout. There's the square, the tall layout, the split, and the three room. There's also different backgrounds like the yellow cave layout, which have the square, the horseshoe, the divided, and the two room. Then you have the red cave layouts with all of the similar ones like mentioned. I have Right now I have this tall one, um, and I don't really like that. I don't want the red cave background. I definitely am looking for some sort of tree layout today personally, so we'll see what I change to. Then you have brown cave layouts and blue cave layouts uh, as well as shrub layouts there's quite a few options when it comes to just your secret base background this is going to be a very customizable mechanic and once again as i mentioned in this little part here you can go through in the forum post and see all of the different locations they're going to tell you what kind of place it's going to be whether it's going to be cave brown tree etc etc this will be your go-to resource to figure out which one you want to pick it's not easy to pick a favorite secret base location, especially since it's super difficult to pick which location. For example, I really like this location over here since it's by the Hoenn Safari Zone, which is where I caught my shiny shuckle. It's a meaningful location to me, and I think it's a pretty cool spot. Actually, we can see a little grapevine here leading up to this tree. And if we walk into that, that's a perfect example of how to show us how to enter our friends or teammates' secret bases. So this is, he doesn't even know I'm doing this. Sorry to Isn't Jush if I'm invading on your property. This is Isn't Jush's secret base. Pretty barren. That's okay. Mine is too. Now, from my understanding, if you are in the same team as someone, you can enter their secret base as long as the owner is online. If you are friends with someone in game, I believe that you can enter their secret base at any time. That's my understanding of it. That's what the forum post says. Please correct me in the comments if things have changed over the last couple years. This forum post was made five years ago, but a lot of the information is still up to date. One of the cutest and funnest parts, in my opinion, about secret bases is really just running around the Hoenn world and randomly finding an open door that you can access and be like, oh, whose base is this going to be? And kind of going in and exploring it. All right, but after doing some further research, I found out that I want to do a split tree house location. So for my house, we're going to be starting here in Fallibor Town and showing you guys the building process of it. I see that it is to the west of this bridge over here. So we can see the little grapevine. I'm going to come over here and I want to create my secret base here. It looks like someone else's. Yeah, Avon Bags is actually already here. So I'm going to go ahead and create my secret base as well. You can have multiple secret bases on top of each other. It'll just give you the option of which one you want to join. Yes, I want to make this my secret base now we have our first home let's get started crafting and creating it now that we have our secret base picked out we can actually pick up three different free polka dolls to go ahead and decorate our base with we might need some sort of surfaces like a table or something to be able to actually put them on but we'll get to that in a quick set First things first, you get a free Trico, Torchic, or Mudkip doll with uh, decided on the starter that you actually chose for the region. So we need to head over to Mauville City. Right in the dead center of the map over here in Mauville City, we want to head over to the Casino, which is to the southwest of the PC. I want to head over here, come inside, and I believe this lady right here, if you talk to her, she should give you one of the dolls. Would you like one of them? Yes, please. Here you go. She gives me the Trico doll because that's the starter I picked so many years ago. 
Now, for whatever reason, the furniture you acquire, like the dolls, don't actually appear within your bag within the game, which is a huge bummer in my opinion. The only way you can see them is actually by going to your PC within your secret base. But we'll go double check on that after we get all the free dolls. There's two more to get first. Next is the Lotad doll. And to get this, you'll first have to talk to an NPC that blocks your PC location in Falibor Town. I think pretty much anyone who played through the storyline should have already talked to that NPC, so it shouldn't be an issue. But for whatever reason, if you haven't beaten the Hoenn storyline, you might have some weird things like this happen where you need to talk to that NPC right in front of the PC. She'll take you over here. You need to come over to this little house in the bottom the uh, southwest of Falibor town come over here to this house talk to Lynette right here and she should give you a low tad doll i've just already received mine next up over to sutopolis city we go for the whalmer doll once in sutopolis head up this small flight of stairs and then head over here to this small little house walk inside and talk to this lady and she should give you a big whalmer doll now, those are the three free dolls that are available. Before we go buy anything else or do anything more, let's go check out our secret base and see what it looks like. Back over at our secret base, nothing will be automatically placed inside, but if we go over to our PC, it should say that we have three things. If we go to decoration, decorate, three out of 80. So you can have up to 80 decorations. If we scroll down to doll, we can see Trico, the Trico doll, the Lotad doll, and the Whalmer doll. Now, they cannot be placed here. I honestly don't know why this is yet. I'm assuming you have to place them on some sort of already ready surface, like a table or a rug. We'll learn about that here in a sec. All right, but since we can't place our dolls yet, we need to cover various shops around Pokemon that have different items that we can put into our secret base. The first one first, going out of order from Best Friends Guide, I'm going to head over to Fortree City. You can follow me along here. We're heading over to a house location so that we can buy a big table to be able to put them on, as well as I actually want to go pick up some rugs immediately after. So first things first, we're going to go ahead and check out the desks that are available here. So here we have small desk, Pokemon desk, heavy desk, ragged desk, etc and you know what best friends has some better images for these so let's check those out here is the shop location that we just went over that best friends outlines we can go ahead and go down to the chairs we see a small chair a little pink chair we see a pokemon chair a heavy chair a ragged chair a comfort chair a brick chair a camp chair a hard chair we go down to the desks we can see a small desk a pokemon desk a heavy desk a ragged desk a comfort desk a brick desk a camp desk and a hard desk I'm no interior decorator by any means, but I'm going to go ahead and pick up a brick desk because that's the way that I like the look of the wood and the brick. I think it'll look pretty decent together, hopefully. So I could just go take that desk right now, set it up and put some polka dolls on it. But you know what? I want to go pick up some rugs and such as well. We're going to do a full shopping trip. You know what? Let's go do a huge full shopping trip and then we'll go ahead and put everything up all at once. So now we're going to head over to Lily Cove City, head over to the Pokemart here. And this place is going to have a bunch of stuff. You want to head to the fifth floor once you're inside here. So we're going to take the elevator in here. There are a bunch of polka doll options, cushions, as well as a bunch of posters and mats. We'll see everything once we're up there let's go ahead and take this lady upstairs which floor number five please we're gonna walk out we're gonna see what all these different shops have to offer welcome how may i serve you thank you thank you we see all the dolls and you know what once again back to the forum post that best friends made that is just an incredible resource here we have the directions like I just went through, and here we have the dolls. The Pikachu doll, the Pichu doll, the Marl doll, the Jigglypuff doll, the Duskull doll, the Why Not doll, the Ball Toy, Ketleon, Azuril, Skitty, Swablu, Gulpin. We've got some cool cushions, the Pika cushion, the round Osmeril type cushion, the zigzag cushion, the spin cushion, the diamond, ball, grass, fire, water. Scroll down for the posters. We've got a Pokeball poster, a Turtwig looking, a Trico poster, a Torchic poster, a Mudkip poster, Azuril cute poster, Pika poster, Long C, and Sky. I like the C has the Relicanth. That's a really cool one. And now we have the mats. And this is what I kind of want to get for my big Whalmer. Probably going to get a Surf mat. Uh, pretty basic, but honestly, it works really well. We've got Surf, Thunder, Fire Blast, Powder. Uh, powder snow attract fish or honestly attract might be a cute one fish or spikes glitter jump and spin mats i believe these large mats can hold either the big whalemer or three small poker dolls and these can obviously probably only hold one poker doll so from here what i'm going to do is go through and pick out everything that i want you can go ahead and do the same 
All right, let's quickly go ahead and go through all of the shops within game that Best Friends lays out perfectly in his forum post. We have the Pretty Petal Flower Shop. You can see it and scroll down and look at this with the red plant, the tropical plant, the pretty flowers, the colorful plant, the big plant, and the gorgeous plant. I'm probably going to go pick up some of the gorgeous plants. Honestly, those look really sick, but otherwise, not, not really a big plant guy. I know, it's a shocker. Uh, Fortree City, we've already went there. Slateport City, we have some interesting stuff. Red brick, blue brick, yellow brick. I assume this just changes the color of the walls within our secret base. Red balloon, blue balloon, yellow balloon. And now we have some fun stuff. C low note, D note mat, E note, F note, G note, A note, B note, and C high note. These are piano keys or keys to which play a song. You can step on them within game and make a different noise. That's really fun. I'll definitely be getting multiples of those. And the balloons, I, you know, gotta be a balloon guy. Let's go ahead and over to Lily Cove. And we've already, we've already been there. We've already covered that. And then some of the more interesting exclusive stuff starts to come up, which I've kind of been putting off talking about. BP. The battle points shop within the battle frontier. You can see how to get there from here. I'll probably definitely be heading over there. It's going to be right before the actual big tower itself right here. Let's scroll down. You can see inside there's a there's two shop ladies over here. One and two, which will have different items. Clerk number one is going to have the kiss poster, the kiss cushion, the smoochum doll, the togepi, the meow, the clefairy, and the ditto. These are BP exclusive, so you have to find some way of farming BP to actually be able to gain these. BP is usually gained from PvP. It can be gained from the red refight. It can be gained from Elite 4 reruns, um, stuff like that. So moving on, Cyndaquil doll, Chikorita, Totodile, Lapras, Snorlax, Venusaur, Charizard, and Blastoise dolls. Obviously, all costing the big 25k BP Spenderino. Clerk number two has a mud ball, some fencing, fence, more fencing, a tire, kind of like that, solid board, sand ornament, breakable door, a television, a round TV, a cute TV, a nice cool big stand, a slide. I'm curious to see how that operates. Uh, another Whalmer doll if you want one, and then a ride on doll for 12,800 BP. And then you have shields. There's a lot of cool stuff you can collect for secret bases, guys. Shields we have. As for the shield, you need to win at least 50 consecutive battles. This is within the battle frontier. Uh, silver shield is 100 consecutive battle. Sh or sorry, 50 consecutive for the silver and 100 for the gold. There's just two options. So 50 consecutive battles in the Hoenn Battle Frontiers, uh, and then the gold is 100 within the specific Hoenn Battle Frontier. Now moving on, you have these Pretty Chair and Pretty Desk. This is something that I'm super excited to grind for. For this, you need Volcanic Ash, which uh, Best Friends, once again, has an incredible guide for, which will be linked down in the description, as well as being linked in this uh, article and this forum post itself. Let's quickly go through this Volcanic Ash collecting guide since it's so incredible and so well done. And I really think the moral of this video is go check out Best Friends, whether it's his YouTube channel or his forum post. They have a ton of information regarding the game. The art of collecting Volcanic Ash. Uh, some people may not know about this activity, so I asked about my... So people asked about my glass desk within my secret base. I tell them about the pretty desk and how to obtain it. The idea sparked a guide about this very topic. We'll go ahead and continue on. What is a soot sack? How do I collect ash? How do I exchange the ash for prizes? Yada yada. We'll go ahead and move on. Figure A. Uh, glass workshop turning volcanic ash into glass items. Is this the location, I assume? Uh, figure B. He's just showing some locations. Game Boy slash DS sprites. Okay, sure. What is a soot sack? It is a key item used to collect soot. You used to collect ash. You can obtain it by going to Route 113 and go to the house shown in Figure A. I see. Now it links back. So Figure A right here. Come here. Talk to the person inside. And that's going to give you the soot sack. If you try to use the soot sack item, it'll show the amount of ash that you have. And then by collecting ash, you literally just run back and forth on the ashy grass tiles within game. I can actually show you that myself. Definitely one of the coolest mechanics, in my opinion, these ashy sort of grass tiles. You just run back and forth. You're obviously going to get encounters. So you can kind of semi-quasi single encounter shunt. There's nothing super exciting in this location from my understanding besides just mostly spindas. But it's a really cool way to just sort of get some encounters as well as running back and forth and collecting vanities for your secret base. And it's something that kind of has to be done. You just kind of just run back and forth. They should reappear over time. If not, you should be able to reset the area by going inside of a cave and then coming back out or inside of a building and coming back out let's go ahead and use my soot sack and see how much soot i have if i could type correctly we'll go ahead and head over to it soot sack let's use we have 329 if i take one step and then go ahead and try to do that again 
I should have 330. Yeah, so one step on an ash tile is one soot. Best Friends has a really, really cool breakdown in this forum post showing you the different locations in which you can collect soot and how many steps you get. So you get 270 uh, steps, steps of ash, essentially, uh, units of soot per run. You get 70 steps in the section A, 71 in section B, 65 in C, and 64 in D. This is wildly detailed stuff. And I believe if you walk in a building and come back out, it should reset it. But let me go ahead and just test that for you guys live. Let's go ahead and go inside the PC, run back over. And yes, all the soot is back and ready to go. So you could just kind of stick to this first area if you would so choose to. Rust Friends lays out an incredible uh, sort of detailed strategy here as well, because you cannot use Repel. If you use Repel, this is wildly important. If you use Repel, you will not be able to collect soot. Keep this in mind. This is super, super, super important. But you are allowed to carry a level 100 muck with the stench ability or a level 100 torkoal with the white smoke ability. Some sort of Pokemon to be able to repel those encounters. I think Intimidate also works like this, I believe. Um, stuff like that is really, really, really helpful. You can also use the cleanse tag to help repel encounters while collecting ash. Great stuff here. And then finally, to actually buy something and redeem that ash usage, you should be able to walk inside, talk to this guy, and he should actually sell you stuff so we can see. Glass item, glass chair, and glass desk, the fancy things that he was talking about previously. And we can see them displayed here. We don't really get a nice in-game visual shot for whatever reason, but the pretty desk and the pretty chair are displayed right here on the forum post. All right, but I know that was a really long diversion to go ahead and collect soot and talk about ash and everything of the sort. But for now, it's time for me to go ahead and get back to actually buying everything that I want to put in my secret base so that you guys can see the final product and what it's like to actually put it all together. Okay, I wanted to quickly mention this since I'm actually having an issue with this and I found the fix. So if you're having the same issue, hopefully this should help you. I'm trying to talk to this lady, which should sell me certain uh, decorations for my secret base, but she's not selling. I have to go talk to apparently uh, some guy on Route 111. So let's head over there and see if this fixes it. Okay, I did finally find him, but honestly, it was a little bit of a pain. He's in the most northeast corner of Route 111, so it's probably best to come from Falibur Town. I came from Malville City, and that was definitely a mistake. So come from Falibur Town, come to the east. You should be able to talk to this boy, and I believe he should give you, yes, the TM secret power, and that is going to essentially induct us as a member of a secret base owner. He'll explain it all to us, yada, 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 and then he'll walk off. And this should give us access to buy from Slateport City now. Let's go double check. Perfect. Seems like that worked. Glad I figured that out. A great little tip if you guys were struggling with that. Well, it seems like I was spending my money too quickly and I was buying too happily because now I am out of space for decoration. So I guess that means it's time to just bite the bullet, head over to our secret base and start building. I thought it would be better to just sort of collect a bunch of stuff, but that might have been a mistake. We'll see how much I regret that. So now we can go ahead and play stuff. We have this big brick desk. I think I'm going to go ahead and just put it here. Why not? I'll spare you guys the whole building process. I might end up having to throw stuff out now. This was a huge mistake. Something that you guys should not make. Do not go buy happy like I did. Make sure to only buy the stuff you actually want because now I'm probably going to have to delete stuff and I spent money for it for no reason. All right, I need to try something really important really quick. Does that destroy it forever? Is that the meme? Okay, so it seems like the balloons, they're water balloons. They're not the same. So if I tried to, let's see if it destroys it. If I walk out and walk back in, will the balloon be recreated? That'd be kind of interesting. That's honestly a... Okay, so it does come back. Okay, so they are permanent, but they do get smacked into water. Interesting. I have an idea for this then. Well, and this is also how I found out that there is actually a maximum amount of decorations that can be placed. 24 is the maximum. A lot more limitations than I expected. Honestly, kind of bummed out to see it, but I guess this is the best we're going to do for now. How do you guys like my secret base? Make sure to leave a rating on it in the comments down below. There's the water balloons all being broken as you walk in. We've got our nice little, this should spawn glitter or something. Doesn't really look like it's doing it. I have no idea how that works. This should spin. Do these just not work? These rugs? This jumps. This one does work. But this one doesn't work. This one, at least we can get rid of those decorations and replace them with something else. But this jump tile, the Jumpion myth is real. And I'm no musician, but...
I'm okay with that. How do you guys feel about it? Make sure to let me know in the comments. Once again, leave a like on this video if you enjoyed it and it was helpful. Dislike if not. Subscribe to the channel for daily Pokemon videos. I do upload every single day. Check out my streams on Twitch and maybe come ask to see my hideout here uh, and we'll kind of make it better over time. And hopefully, I would love to see some Pokemon updates actually make this a lot more fleshed out, a lot more better, a lot more in-depth. We could see a lot of changes to the secret bases that I think would be super cool to see in the near future. I am definitely going to go farm for that volcanic ash though that's a really cool one to me uh, and maybe go for those bp rewards as well thanks for watching once again twitch streams monday through thursday at 12 p.m et discord's down below if you care about that and if you want to go above and beyond and support the content youtube memberships twitch primes twitch subs and paypal slash venmo do keep me around that much longer and help a ton thanks for watching have a great day i'll see you guys later peace Hey, thanks so much for watching till the very end of the video. And thanks to everybody whose name is on this list. You guys go above and beyond and allow me to make the content that I do. So thank you so much once again and have a great day.